Ladies and gentlemen, I am officially mad online. At some point during this weekend's graduation ceremonies, hoopla at the University of Oklahoma, the OU Alumni Association's Twitter account decided to embarrass you, me and every single OU graduate, living and deceased. I'd usually prefer not to exacerbate the situation, but this simply needs to be addressed. Warning, the following tweet contains content that may be offensive or disturbing to some audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. There's a joke about head in there somewhere, but I'll let you use your imagination. This abhorrent behavior obviously hasn't gone unnoticed, as rival alumni and fan bases are pouncing at the opportunity to take digs at OU. Who can blame them? Not a bad pour of an Oklahoma 3.2% beer, TX Hank, at TX Hank Flores, May 12, 2018 There's more than a grain of validity to all of this. Seriously, WHO taught, or failed to teach, this individual how to pour a beer? Some people learned this in high school. Some late bloomers learned it in college. My family is Irish Catholic, so I was taught at a fairly young age through instruction and by example. Did society fail this individual? I think not. I'm not sure if this is a recent graduate, an old alum or someone in between, but this person has had plenty of time to interact with people who know how to pour a beer into a glass. Actually, you should pour your beer into the center of the glass. That releases carbonation and gives it the proper aroma. Oh, shut the F asterisk 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 up. Nobody cares. I don't have time for people of your ilk. The next person who says this to me is catching these fat guy hands. Here are some other reactions that have irked me to some extent, if you'll allow me to paraphrase, loudly guffaws, half thou land thieves not treats the double IPA or a refreshing saison. How did thou drink such swill? Look, I enjoy a craft beer as much as the next guy, and I find that a session IPA, terrapin recreation, if I can find it, it is the perfect outdoor, heavy consumption beverage during the summer months. Having said that, I cut my teeth on steel reserve, lost lake and side pocket. I am above nothing. I'll also gladly mess around with mass provide garbage, be it a natty, a curse locked, as shown in the above abomination of a video, or a non-ironic PBR. I don't care if it tastes like carbonated urine. I don't care if I'm playing into the hands of the man. I will drink any damn beer and don't you forget IT. Also, statistically speaking, the majority of your fan base drinks mass-produced domestics, so there you go. And no, not everything you like falls under the umbrella of the things I've mentioned, but it's sort of irrelevant. Feel free to enjoy a good beer or a bad beer. It doesn't matter. Is it weird that I'm so laissez-faire when it comes to beers and so crotchety about the pouring of said beers? Maybe. I'm a weird dude, on second thought, mass-produced domestics are 3.2 in Oklahoma, but not for long, and are justifiably subject to harsh criticism from out-of-staters. Have it it, y'all. Who cares? We've won the last three Big 12 championships. Boomer sooner, culture matters to some of us, and this kind of thing is a blight on the culture of this university and fan base, as trivial as that may seem. It's just not a good look, and I don't like it one bit. I simply don't understand how the manager of this account hasn't come to his or her senses and deleted it. It's gone semi-viral at this point and will probably spread even more in the coming hours and days. Anyway, that's my two cents. Maybe I'm being dramatic. To be honest, I'm happy to take this one on the chin. This is the kind of nonsense that makes the long days of the off-season a bit less monotonous, and I'd be all over it if a Texas X or a Texas A.
Hopefully this can serve as a learning experience for the offending party or anyone else who has made a habit out of doing this kind of thing improperly. We're happy to help.